I'll be taking you down the line about what the international consensus is, what organisations such as the Joanna Briggs Institute and the Cochrane Collaboration essentially dictate of what a systematic review should be. So these are some of the defining features of what a Joanna Briggs Institute systematic review would look like. First of all, it should be protocol driven with an a priori protocol, which is used a to guide the reviewers themselves and, um, and also to, to allow anyone to, to minimise bias and to allow anyone to see exactly how this research question is going to be addressed. But these are the important steps the systematic steps in this systematic process. First of all, to formulate the review question. Secondly, to define these eligibility criteria that are derived directly from that question. The all important search to locate the international uh, evidence about that question. From these inclusion and exclusion criteria, we then move into study selection from the results of that search. Um, we go through this process often referred to as critical appraisal, or if we're talking about a quantitative review, assessment of risk of bias. We assess study quality using standardised instruments. Similarly, we abstract or, uh, the, the important data relevant to our question using um, tools, similar standardised instruments also. And once we've extracted the relevant data, we can move into our analysis or synthesis and summary of those relevant studies. We present those results and then interpretation of those results and how applicable they are.